Good morning and welcome to today's vlog. Today we're rushing because the taxi cancelled our trip and uh, well it was an Uber, we booked an Uber and then it cancelled it and then, uh, and then we had to jump in on the taxi but we are going kayaking to the Emerald Cove on the Colorado River today as part of our Las Vegas trip so uh, we thought we'd take you along with us. two and a half or something so it's like a, a round about a five mile round trip um, but yeah I think it's gonna be fun that's our guide in front you can see there and then this is all of our crew and he said we need to go fast now I oh, should probably help Ollie <laughs> just chilling uh, he said we should go fast now because when you get to the Emerald Cove the queues can be like crazy so people will like sat on a kayak queuing so I think we need to like get there early so it's only half an hour wait on the kayaks to get in to the cove. But yeah, so I'll um, help Ollie and then I'll show you a little bit of scenery on the way. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna sit here and hold on to my oar. Is this called an oar, Ollie? Yeah, paddle, not an oar. Um, oh, they've crashed. <laughs> people in front just crashed. Basically, Ollie said when I paddle, I just make it worse and I make it harder for him. So it's so flat and calm, it's not actually that much hard work. So Ollie's gonna paddle us and I'm just gonna vlog and maybe take a nap. Oh, we're going fast. <gasps> Ollie, you're getting me wet. Oh, you're splashing me. Right. You're getting me soaked. <laughs> oh, these people keep crashing. Because one person does one way and then the other does the other way and it just goes wrong. So I will happily let Ollie do it. Population of the uh, of the fish striper or striped bass, and they like to eat up all the native rainbow trout. So to help keep up with the native rainbow trout, that facility over there to our right, um, that's a fish hatchery where they breed thousands of rainbow trout every year. So usually on Fridays, they'll release about 800 to 1300 10 to 11 inch rainbow trout there. Oh my God. Um, a lot of the wildlife, they are aware that they release fish there. So sometimes during the summer, we'll have four bald eagles sitting on those pipes over there waiting for them to release those fish. Um, I don't know how they know it, but uh, somehow they know it's on Fridays too, so now every time I see them, it's always a Friday. So. <laughs> 
the water is so clear. I don't know if you can see that, but that is the bottom of the lake. Apparently the lake is between 20 to 55 feet deep, depending on where you are. But yeah, look at that. Oh my God, it's so relaxing. It does freak me out a little bit though. Like if I see a big fish, I'm gonna freak. to this little beach we're gonna pull up here and have a little swim in the lake which is exciting with the, with the rattlesnakes he said basically there's rattlesnakes all over and other snakes but the rattlesnakes are the ones you've got to be careful of obviously um so yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna trek off far up there there's also mountain lions here bobcats and Long horned sheep or something like that. Big horned sheep. Big horned sheep. Um, yeah, that's Now. No, we're he's going around, going around it. Oh my god. I can't see it. Oh, see on that it? road. It's behind the rock now, Yeah, it's right on this side of this big boulder right like here. There. Oh. Little, <gasps> little oh, river cockroach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See if you can get it to wow. clip onto your toe. God, Ollie. <laughs> oh, right. Do you not wish you had shoes? Right? Yeah, what? He's got no shoes on. I'm just going to go back in. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a crawfish this big. Just crawling around. Nature. Nature, yeah. <laughs> All right. Probably been trotted lots of times.
Oh yeah, got it. So, what is it? Southwest. Mandalay Bay Hotel brought us here. It's like an hour's drive to here, and then you get a three hour kayak, and we had a little bit of like granola bars and water, and a swim in the lake, and then an hour back. So, yeah, it's kind of a five, six hour trip. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. Cool. While we're speeding along, we're just going to pull in at the shore in a minute. back in our hotel room. I don't know if you can actually hear the vibration. That like vibrating noise, that noise is the party going on out there, vibrating our room. <laughs> Let me show you. Look at that, that's all people. Look at that. I honestly don't think that looks fun. Look how crammed in they are. I think that's called the Teo Club or something like that. But every time we look at it, it's always really busy. But tomorrow, we'll be chilling out in some of these pools. We can also use these ones along here as well. Um, so yeah, we're probably a nice relaxing day tomorrow. I'm just going to run the bath and vlog it. Bath. I'm going to try and get rid of all my emotional feelings. 
so that we can actually go out and enjoy our evening without me crying every five minutes. Keep drinking. You look a lot harder well. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at this bath. It looks so good. Here is my bath bomb from this little shop that was in Kingman, which is where we got our uh, wedding license from. It's called Bath Treats, Savon, I think. Um, but it was the most amazing shop and it had all these really cool bath bombs in it. And this is the one that I picked out for me. I also got one for all of the other girls that came on the trip with us. Um, but I'm so excited. But I get to use mine. Look at that. It smells so good as well. So um, I think we should just put it in. <laughs> Molly. Oh, look at that. Wow, it's so pretty. I can vlog in here. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to end the vlog yesterday, but I'm feeling less emotional today. We're gonna have a good day, and I'm gonna continue today's vlog from this moment onwards. So, see you the next one. Bye.